Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben and you're watching Photos by Finch. Fantastic to see you. So in this particular episode, I am going to take my Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens and we're going to try some night photography and video. Let's do it. So before I step out, this is not going to be, you know, overly scientific, looking at resolving power, looking at MTF charts, no interest in that whatsoever. However, what I am interested in is giving you the kind of hard evidence, so how the photographs can look, how the video can look, if you're interested in this lens. The photographs I've taken previously with this lens uh, have been kind of during daylight, if you remember the street photography video in Kensington on my work tea break. Uh, it's kind of all daylight. Um, I have taken a couple of unbelievable sunset on a work commute. Um, and I've always been really impressed with the photographs that can you, know, you can produce with this lens. Um, however, I've not really tested it, I think, to its maximum. I think testing it at night, when there's obviously less light, cameras need light, um, I think this could be really interesting. And I think it's gonna deliver something pretty tasty. So without further ado, let's get out there and have some fun. Do hope you enjoyed your visit to Ealing Broadway. Uh, technically started in Hamwell Broadway and then made my way and just kind of run and gun. I didn't really know what I was going to take photographs of, so that's why I didn't really interact with you, um, you know, other than beginning and end of video. Um, that's the reason. But it was very challenging. It was good fun. And the lens is a great lens, no question. Um, it really is a very solid choice. Um, if you're looking to upgrade from your kit lens, or if you just want an extra lens in your bag, um, it's a great choice uh, for some photography. So you're stuck at 16 millimeters, obviously that's not gonna be suitable for everyone. Um, it is a prime lens, but I find it's very fast. The photographs are really sharp. Um, it's just a really fast lens, what can I say? It's just great quality. It's not perfect, so it's not image stabilized. It's not weather sealed, I think, for Canon cameras. Um, I think, possibly down to the mount, so how it mounts to Canon cameras. That could be the reason why it's not weather sealed. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out and correct myself if I'm wrong. Um, so it's not perfect. It won't be suitable for everyone. But it's still a great choice. 
um, if you were unsure, you didn't want to splash the cash. I mean, it's £350, I think, there or thereabouts. So if you didn't want to spend that sort of money without knowing, I would applaud that thought. <laughs> uh, you can rent it. There's a company, Fat Llama. It's a really stupid name. Don't, you know, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Um, but you borrow equipment, camera equipment from people. Um, and the rates are really low. You liaise with them, meet somewhere public, pick it up. You, all, you pay through the app, through this company, Fat Llama. Um, I promise you I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work for them. Um, but I've used it before. I would never list my camera equipment publicly to rent, never. It's very handy if you don't want to spend 300 quid without really knowing. Um, so yeah, Fat Llama, you can rent from them. Uh, I'm sure somewhere near, some, as long as you live in a city, I'm sure someone near you has got this lens. I, I doubt it, that no one would have it. Um, so yeah, it's a great lens. What can I say? Uh, let me know from the photographs what you think. I was very impressed. I have to say I was very impressed. I did find it tricky uh, being stuck at 16 mil. I had to kind of almost walk backwards into the road. Not literally. Um, I had to really obviously be very, very careful. Uh, you really do have to be careful because it is one busy, busy road. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with how the photographs came out. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.